Are we live? <laughs> YouTube didn't want my my streaming info. Okay. So hello to Catherine and Brian, Rochelle, Shelly, Janice and Tammy. Hi Patty and Cecilia. Tammy and Susan. Hi Linda. I think I got everybody. There's Vic. Okay. The gang is here. Linda, when you're using TLPs, you can put them over a transparent tape, because when a paint tape, listen to me, because um, when you blow it out, you're still going to see a little bit of that transparent color, but I like the opaques closer to the bottom, so you don't lose the, the true colors. Hi, Violetta. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Kathy Carr. Okay. Hi, Colleen. So last week we did the trivets. I do um, sometimes, Linda, but most of the time I'm just using pigments. Hi, Mary Ellen. So this was the first one that we did. I thought it dried pretty cool. Of course, that chestnut bronze is always in your face when it dries. It's super pretty. I'm okay, Joy. I think. <laughs> I have my moments. Uh, this was the flip and drag that we did. I really like this one. Very vibrant. Uh, I'm not sure yet, Linda. I've never um, sold trivets before, so I have to look at my pricing chart. Okay, so this was the one that we used the interference on. But see how the white is gone? And it's just the interference green in there popping up now. But that one spot is pretty cool. Some real cool things in there. It happened over here, too. So I really like those. Hi, Donna. Hi, Nate. Hi, Ken, Linda. So this was our ring pour. Actually, I think this was our straight pour. That came out pretty cool, too. And then we did a ring pour, which we ended up tilting most of it off because we had too much paint. So tonight, we're going to be working on some bigger canvases. I probably should move those a little farther away. Let's see if I can do that. I have so much stuff that needs to get finished. spend like one day doing resin, one day doing varnish. Alright, hi Kat, hi Gertrude. Hope I didn't miss anybody. Okay, so tonight I'm going to do a 16 by 20 oval canvas. I'm okay, Donna. Um, I get my moments. Like today, the photographer sent me the gallery. So I looked at all the pictures. and Each day it gets just a little bit better. Hi, Julia. Hi, 
Yeah, finishing's not fun, is it? <laughs> Sometimes I enjoy it. I got music cranked and I'm doing resin. Yeah. But varnishing's not fun. Okay. So I'm just going to do a dirty pour on this big canvas. I was looking through some of my paintings over there and I really don't have a big oval that's done on a dirty pour. So I thought I would do one tonight. Fix had a wrench, Brian. Hey, Monica. <laughs> That's true. I sometimes get a bug in mine and then I just sand them out, dig them out, start another coat. So I want to revisit the denim metallic because it seems like everything I'm using it for it's just not showing up as much as I want it to. So tonight I'm going to make it show up. So that one does not have silicone so that's going to be, um, this is a test for me to see if it'll stay. And I am going to use um, silver spoon. We are going to use some black and some white. Oh, Brian, she has, she has one job to do, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> Brian doesn't feel special anymore. You poor thing. I don't know what we can do to make you feel special, Brian. color in there and I think I'm going to use the um, Silver Lake. So our color palette for tonight is Denim Blue Metallic, Silver Lake Metallic, Moody Blue Shimmer. I don't have a lot but we'll use it up. Silver Spoon. And we're going to use black and white. These will both have silicone. My parchment's already messing up. A piece of tape there it won't go anywhere. Yeah, that too, Cecilia. <laughs> it's hard to keep Brian on his toes. So if you're on Facebook, you probably saw my post that we have three rooms available. Get those last minute cancelers. Well, it's not really last minute. We still have time. Hi, Kay. So, just put it out there. See if we can fill those rooms. If not, next year we go back to a smaller house. If there is a next year, I'm hoping everybody will be healthy and we'll see. Get my gloves on. Oh, so I didn't do anything with my puppy paw prints yet. I'm still thinking about it. The ones that I did in the video went to the new owners, and they loved them. It was a nice special little gift for them. Meeting these people in person was such a joy. Um, Mike and Lisa came from New Jersey to pick Twig up, who is now Finn. 
and uh, I just love them. And Twig was so comfortable with them. And they sent me a video already of Twig playing with Tucker. So he's all settled in. And Poppy has her own Instagram channel, Instagram account. So I get to see a picture of her almost every day. And I have not heard back from Lily's mama. She sent me a couple of pictures Sunday. So uh, we'll see if I get something from her later this week. I just, it's the mama in me wanting to make sure they're okay and not crying and, you know. Yeah, it's hard. So I got to talking with a friend of mine from high school yesterday. And she asked me if I was going to do it again. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Do you think we should do it again? I know, Brian, I am going through separation anxiety. One more time, right? Hi, Bonnie. So, you know, even the vet said you never know what the next one might, might be like. I think it was hard on me, Shelly, because I went into this with the intention of keeping one. And I couldn't. Well, Linda, she's over too, so she's in her prime right now to be having puppies. If I wait another year, she'll be almost four when she has a litter. So I don't want to do that. Shelly Ellie doesn't even care. <laughs> to be honest with you. She, uh, three times today I said puppies. Finn went to look, but she didn't. Yeah, I was the mama for sure. So I have talked to a couple of people, you know, that keep telling me that maybe next time it'll be different. Don't base the experience on this one time. You know, it took Ellie three weeks to come around to her puppies, but she had a calcium deficiency. So, I'll give her that, you know. I know better now. I switched vets because the vet that I had didn't want me giving her calcium. So now I know better. I have a new vet. I did not get rid of my stuff. No. We actually boxed it up and took it upstairs. What, Brian? What did I say? I got a little bitty dried paint there. I want to grab that. Thank you, Victoria. I appreciate you. All right, so now I'll tell you what order I'm going. <laughs> Got the yakin. All right, so white with silicone. Silver Lake.
black. You're gonna plug up on me now too. Hang on a minute, let me clear that nozzle. Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate you. There was a big goober in there. They kind of do look like my living room colors, don't they? Silver spoon. I'm trying to use up some of these paints that are getting low. Denim blue. And moody blue. Go one more round, see if I can finish those. I have a lot of paint mixing to do. Um Probably 24 ounce bottles, cat. I get them from Webster Rent. I had bigger ones, if you guys remember a while ago. I had to use two hands to squeeze it, remember? <laughs> that was pretty funny. I see that, Bonnie. I hope so. So Etsy got us good. This, well, I shouldn't say Etsy. USPS got us. They won't let us use the regional A boxes anymore. So now it costs me more to ship. So I had to go in and raise my prices on Etsy. You lucked out, Bonnie. You got your order in before I did that. But I'm going to run a sale in February. My sweetheart sale. So this this next week I'll be uh, mixing paint. Getting everything restocked. Yay, finished that one. Yes, I do. They are a pain to wash, especially when the paint's um, drying in them. Metallics are the worst. So I'm going to angle this canvas because I want some kind of um, symmetrical design in it. I don't want to like get anything straight. Okay, just a little swirl, just to marry those colors a little bit. So, that's that. Save that out, I might need it. I don't wash the bags, I throw them away. So when your bottle's empty, just take your top off, take it right to the sink, rinse it out, throw your water outside because you don't want it down your drains. Pull the plastic bag out. You don't have to wash the bottle. Easy peasy. Hi, Christina. Hi, Sonia. Alright, let's get pouring. Oh boy. So I did put silicone in my cups. So almost all of this paint will come out.
away a lot of cells, even though I used one without silicone. All right, I want to come this way. I'm gonna cross over just a little bit. Come back down here. Now I'm doing about, um, I think there's about 18 ounces of paint here, maybe 16 to 18, plenty. love this spot here. So I'm going to go this way now. Bring up through. Just a little crossover. I like to give it a little bit of dimension. It's enough, Bri. It's plenty. Why do you think it's not enough? going to torch it yet. I do see some bubbles, but I'm not going to torch it yet. So I call it the shimmy when I'm trying to close in spots where I don't have paint, which gives this really cool puckering effect. Once I get everything moving together, I'll start stretching it to the edges without going over yet. Brian, I know you like major amounts of paint. <laughs> I'm trying not to be wasteful. I didn't have any intentions of spinning or anything. a pretty color palette. Write it down. <laughs> They're all Parage Posse paints. So if you have the collection, you can do this. Alright, so now I'm going to start balancing. I even have extra paint, Brian. I have plenty. I know you've given me shit. Alright, let's get it back to the middle and I'm going to turn it around so I can work on the other side. Because there's some things there I don't want to lose. down here. So I don't want to lose all those cells there. My back is really bothering me. It's probably from moving stuff yesterday and Saturday. I did go out of the house Saturday. After the puppies left, I had to get out of here. I went and got Eddie a new dog bed. Because Ellie tore his up with her nesting. And I got them all a treat. Because they were so good Saturday with strangers in our house. Even Ellie, she was really good. I thought she was going to be a pain. Alright, so now I've got room I can play because I have some extra paint there. I'm going to work on getting this band closer to the edge. Let me wipe my hands 
lights off. I got a torch. I know you could actually, the, the composition on this, you could go vertical or horizontal because there's something cool going both ways. Reminds me of the painting in my living room almost. A little bit of black mixing in with the uh, silver lake over there. That meh. it's meh. <laughs> well, hopefully that silver lake will force that black to sink more. You won't be able to tell until it's dry. Just like baking a cake. That's better. Now they're coming out. I had one stubborn spot over there. The bubbles did not want to pop. So if you were going to hang it horizontally, I would do it this way, because I like the movement. And if I was going vertical, I would probably go this way. Oh my gosh, you guys see this? Doesn't that look like a dolphin? Upside down, yeah. Upside down dolphin. See him? Right there. So you could hang it that way and see how many people notice your dolphin. I'm not tripping. <laughs> Looks like a dolphin. Well, it could be a whale. I have an eye over here, too. What do you think, guys? I think it's cool. Bring it up for a close-up. That's little cells through that. It should get a little bit bigger. Love that patch of blue right there. like it this way. I also like it this way. This could be difficult to decide what composition to go with. Let me move it down a little. I still got just enough I can just smidge it. Mermaid face above the dog. Shelly, these would go good with your island in your lake house. 
<laughs> it's not an ocean house, but it's a lake house. So that's that one. I really like the colors. We have so many colors that go together in our paint line that you can get a decent painting out of. Octopus tentacle. Mm -hmm. I see that. Alright, I'm going to move this over. Drying rack, way in the back. I hope I can remember to shut my heater off tonight. Let's see, I don't see anything I want to pull. It's too silly. on my paints. Taping my parchment down because the slide's terrible. The silver's done enough. So I'll set that one aside. I was going to ask Alan if he wanted to paint tonight, but kind of, kind of give him a week to enjoy his quiet time without puppers running around him. Hi, Kathy. So I was good. I bought a few of those pictures from her. So I have full rights to them. So I can put them on my I want to make myself a tumbler. <laughs> so I thought, well, I want to print more than one. I have to buy the photo. So I bought the photo. That's terrible, Linda. You need more than something that barks. is going to be a tried and true. I'm going to do a flip and drag. Um, I think I'm going to use a black background for this though. I have some cloud pour pearl in a bottle but I don't think it's enough for the base coat because I wondered what kind of effects we would get. Should I try it? been sitting a while, but we still should be able to get something cool with that. I 
I would love a cane corso. They are the most beautiful dogs. They're so shiny and so massive looking. I don't need any more dogs. Shh. <laughs> we went from six to three. I gotta tell you something that just warmed my heart though. When everybody was leaving with their puppies, they didn't all leave at one time because I had to cuddle the puppies and, you know, tell them my little goodbyes and my little things in their ears. And But anyway, my son was on the front porch with Eddie. And every time someone walked out with a puppy, Eddie walked the puppy to the car. I thought, how sweet is that? <laughs> I don't think so, Brian. I think he was probably thinking, where are you going with those babies? <laughs> he was grandpa. You know, Eddie's nine years old now, and I can't believe he's nine already. But he let them puppies bite his legs. <laughs> just lay down and just lick them. He thought they were cool. Well, it was also very nice when um, Maya was here to pick up Lily. Her mom came with her. She wanted to take Eddie home. She's like, he's so well behaved. <laughs> he's such a good dog. He is a good boy. I'm going to mix a little white with that because I don't have enough in there. dogs and are very loved and spoiled here so we're all very close you know it's we all are like one is what I want to say just jives Ellie can be a handful with her barking but she's a dog dogs bark So I'm going to add a little water to that because it is a little thick. These bottles are pretty cool. You don't even have to like tip it upside down. You just squirt. save a little bit of this to put in with the um, flip cup. See if we get some clouding curly effect maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So what color palette? What are we leaning towards tonight? Um, I think I got it from Shine, Joy. I like their little gadgety stuff. It's dirt cheap. I think these were like $1.50. They have them on Amazon, though. I love shopping on Shine. That's where I get all Ellie's and Finn's sweaters and stuff from. My thank you stickers and all kinds of goodies. Okay, so now I need to pick out a color palette. I'm going to pour a little bit of that 
in a cup though, so I have it to add just a smidgey. And one of my oats cup. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. Gray and gold. Gray and gold. I was thinking brown, gold, um, maybe a little coral reef. Um, get that, Linda's out there with that green and purple. She's bold. She's a bold one. I did one of those years ago with the rainbow colors. Man, that paint that video was viral for the longest time. All right, so I'm gonna go neutral. I am gonna add the coral reef though, because I really like the coral reef. Or the, yeah, coral reef. I had to pull back off out. Where's my coral reef? They don't have a lot of painting supplies, Cat. Let's just say that. So you'd be safe. <laughs> All right. Let's use old gold instead of bright gold. Well, no, I want the bright gold. I bought some stuff from... Timu. Is it Timu? I bought some stuff from there. Um, it's supposed to come this week, so I'll get to see what it's like. I bought it at Christmas time. Got hung up in, post, in the mail, though. Um, hmm, I got it with another dark color. So, I'm going to get... I should have saved some of that. Let's just use some black ice metallic. I was gonna save some of that moody blue. Bummer. All right, I need my water bottle. Let's get some gloves on. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, Beth, I'm um, Lee's. Lee does uh, videos on it, stuff that she gets from there. Lee's home. She used to watch us all the time. She's actually friends with Nate, I believe. She got some pretty cool stuff from there. Gadgety stuff. I I got what I needed. I bought like Exacto knives and stuff because it was really cheap. Stuff that I needed for here. It's probably the same as Shine. They're all pretty much the same kind of companies. Alright, I see a little goop in there. I'm going to get it before I stretch it. Yep, they do have UV resin. And molds and mica that I don't need. <laughs> I don't need anything. <laughs> so, so I got a message from somebody, and I'm not gonna say who. They asked me why I have Westy purses on my wish list on Amazon. And I said, oh, I just put those there so I wouldn't lose the link. 
I hope she's not sending me a Westie purse. <laughs> but I do really want them. Well, at least one of them. They're Chala bags. I love Chala bags. Someday, when I have a little extra money, I will buy myself that hobo bag. I don't go anywhere, so I don't really need a purse. The only place I go is to the vet. <laughs> Alright, get it over that corner and then we can tilt it back and forth. Get the excess off. I like to get off as much as I can. So I had a, a girl ask me this morning what was the hardest part about letting those puppies go. Like, what is what is the hardest thing? And you know what it is? It's getting up in the morning and they're not here. Like, I'm so used to getting up in the morning and having my cup of tea and not watching them play. And that's probably been the hardest thing for me. And our little... Uh, nighttime ritual where I used to take them in the bathroom and wash their faces, get them all ready for bed. Just like if they were my kids. It'll get easier, I'm sure. attacking me down here. Okay, let me torch those bubbles out. And then we're going to work on our flip cut. This ought to be interesting, Cloud Girl. I don't know if it's going to do anything or not, but we'll see. So, I am going to spray this with WD-40. need any more boxes. Yes, Brian, it was her. <laughs> I did not click on the ad when it came in my email. I'm like, nope, I don't need anything. <laughs> So I'm going to put, ooh, I'm going to put the black ice in first. I don't need a lot of that. I just want to cover the bottom of that cup. So I'm hoping it'll sink down through. All right, let's go with some gold. I'm trying to be a good girl, Vicki and I have this discussion about spending money she rips me a new one every time I buy something so I'm trying not to buy anything <laughs> now I'll go with our dark chocolate you don't need it you don't need it it's all I hear put a little bit of that cloud white on top of that I'm going to go in with my coral reef. And I'm 
going to do the gold again and just a touch of black at the end. I've got boxes for the retreat already, Christina. Way ahead of you. <laughs> We're doing boxes and those big cookie jars. I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought a bunch of stuff that I don't even remember what I bought. How's that sound? Is that typical of me? I'll know next month when I have to start going through it all. Oh, we don't want to talk about Amazon. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. Flip in the middle. I'm going to wait for that paint to drop off that bottom of that cup. I am going to heat up my pin. I learned that from Brian. Not that you need to heat up the pen, but it does make it a little easier. Okay, so I see white on top of that. Okay, let me give it a wiggle. So when you're doing the flip and drag, make sure you're wiggling on top of the paint. Try to keep it on top. You gotta lift one little side of your cup, you do that. It's getting a little pearly effect there, though. That's kind of neat. Mmm. I don't know if this is going to be what I want. I see. I'll give it a minute's rest. I'm going to have to bring this paint here because I do, I'm a little short there. I turned when I come back around and I scrape it a little bit on that canvas. Uh, gold Rush, yes, Gold Rush, Dark Chocolate, Coral Reef, and Black Ice. this way first because I want to see if I can fill that in. I got a lot of paint right here that I can move down there. Also, I have a lot of paint here. So that's going to be an issue. I'll try to just walk this down here without losing too much off of that side. I just want to get to that break. And like picking up this side bush thick. <laughs> so I don't want that to go off. I think we might lose it though. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. I can push it back on. I got my finger there now. Alright, so we're going to go back. tail off of here. I like when my colors kind of fill up the canvas from side to side. Sometimes when you leave it plain, I guess plain's not the word I'm looking for. When you leave that negative space on the end, it looks unfinished to me sometimes. It depends what colors you're using, though. 
All right, so see, I have a bunch of paint right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start stretching from side to side. Always take your time and get that paint where you need it. If it takes you 15 minutes to get it there, it takes you 15 minutes to get it there. You can always walk it. I know when I first started pouring, I was like, tilt, 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 really fast, get done. Well, over the years, you learn to slow down to build up a composition. See, we're not going to get any pearl effect at all. I already know that. And I'm not looking at chat right now. I will look at it as soon as I'm done tilting. Okay. I almost want to get that little bit of white off of there. this spot here. I don't like it. Just tap with your glove. Grab some white. Run it over. Your paint will dry flat unless it's too thick. So keep that in mind when you have thick paint. It will leave a ridge. Alright, let's torch it again. stretch it some more. I got some weird cells coming up here. I might have to scrape those out. Let me tilt it a little bit more this way. was one of the things I taught the first year we went to the beach. We had so many girls that wanted to learn how to do flip and drag. I gotta do something with that spot. It's driving me crazy. underneath and I didn't like the way it was selling through. Let me 
wipe that just a little bit so I don't get that black in there. Tad. Then I'll quit, as Brian says, I'll quit dicking with it. <laughs> Brian's a bad influence on me. Okay, so I am going to blow out a little bit. I want to blow this out right here. Just to, I'm not going to like throw it out though. I just need to balance it. Because I have so much gorgeousness right here. I need to balance here and a little bit here. Always turn it around because if you airbrush this way you're gonna hit the bottom of the canvas you're gonna go down to the canvas and you're not gonna get the blowout like you did going this way so if you turn your airbrush on the side and hold it like a pencil you start high and come down towards the paint so I can see where it's making the paint move just a little bit so I can see it's like right on that line I'm going to go a little bit farther back to push that gold out a little bit. I'm going to follow that along because I really like that way that went out. So as I was pushing that cloud mix paint out, it started to flocculate a little bit. The binder was breaking, so I stopped. I'm just bringing out some little trails that will be barely visible when it dries.
just to everything be cohesive. Points one place you gotta have them somewhere else. All right, I think I'm done monkeying. I could walk away and come back ten minutes later and still start monkeying. So. hoping that that paint will dry flat because now I'm worried about it. But I think we'll be okay. So we bring it up. See how that looks like a dried out leaf? I thought it was kind of neat. That's why I left it alone. And I love that pile of gold right there with that coral reef and that brown. Super pretty. Yeah. You digging it. I just feel like I need to keep smoothing that, but you know what? It's so warm in here right now. The top has probably already started to dry and I don't want to mess with it. So hopefully it will dry flat. If not, might put a little stencil there. <laughs> Maria, you're getting snow? We had thunder the other night, so we're going to get snow here pretty soon. Um, Gertrude, I have never used the clear glue, so I really can't tell you if it's going to work well or not. I just used the glue all, but you can also use the school glue if you can't get the glue all. I know, Shelly, I want to go play in the snow, too. <laughs> and I'll tell you, the, road, the roads in Eureka Springs are not to be messed with when it's snowing. They're windy hills with no guardrails. <laughs> I was just shocked how dangerous those roads were there. <laughs> but... Thanks everybody for joining me tonight. I'm still not 100% myself yet, but it's coming slowly. I'll, I'll get better, I promise. So hopefully by next Tuesday I'll be in a better mood, but I just wanted to spend some time with you guys tonight and let you know how everything went. I know we missed their little faces. I didn't get to uh, see them. I am working on a farewell video tons of footage so I'll get it all together and we'll have a cute little farewell video with some of the photographers pictures and yeah it's gonna be cute so I will see you guys next Tuesday night I'm not sure if Joanne's doing anything from Myrtle Beach tomorrow night um, I know she's gonna do something with Vic next Wednesday, hopefully, so we'll have to wait and see. But I love you all, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.